Of course, I stand right under the speaker. I don't know if that helps moving away from it at all. Oh, look at the pug. Speaking of canine assisted therapy dogs, we're going back down to Fort Lauderdale. We were there two weeks ago uh, filming some B-roll for an event. Andrew got some lovely footage of that event. Uh, so that's going to be in this video a little bit. Uh, but we're going back down now to finish up the video. Uh, we're shooting the interview and cue kid crying and cue music. And uh, we're going to shoot the interview. <laughs> to Fort Lauderdale, we're packing our rental car, turning it into a production vehicle. Oddly enough, we shot this when we were in Wisconsin, but uh, none of that footage exists. I'm not gonna point any fingers or anything, just elbows. Ray will point fingers. <laughs> anyway, in all seriousness, uh, we're turning our rental Suburban into a production vehicle, essentially. Uh, this is why it's worth, you know, just flying in a day early because you don't wanna be doing all this this shouldn't go into setting up your interview or setting up your first shot. This should just be done ahead of time. That way, when we get to our location tomorrow morning, we're unloading it as if it's a, a G and E truck. If we set up in this area right here, <laughs> does that ruin your his staff's ability to work? No. Because we're thinking if we could kind of make this seem like a work area for you, okay. and then we're just turn you around so that way we can get the dogs. Uh, in the background, and we're we're gonna shoot this one. Okay. But maybe we can like stress this, stress this a little bit. Yeah. Just to kind of set up today, like we were down here two weeks ago shooting just B-roll. It was like a three hour event. We were down here just shooting B-roll, which don't get me wrong, I like doing that because it's part of telling the story. But today we're here to actually get the story. Getting to, to, to have a conversation and ask these questions and dive into why she is doing this and why she cares, video or not, I would want to have this conversation anyway. And I deploy my talents of video towards what I'm passionate about, and that's telling the stories of people that are making impacts in other people's lives. I mean, when we were down two weeks ago, we got like beauty shots of the dogs outside, slow-mo, just them kind of looking off into the distance. We got people at the conference petting the dogs and talking about the dogs and all that stuff. And then this B-roll, which is fake evaluation, the dogs being trained, doing some tricks. So my concern is stretching it over a four minute long video, minimum four minutes. Um, if we have enough. The good good thing is it, it all matches what exactly the story we need to tell. And then hopefully this hospital is gonna go well, but more dogs would be ideal. And it's in a hospital, which is always challenging. We've done a lot of video around hospitals. So as far as the story goes and the content in the context of what we're gonna, going to capture, yeah, I understand the sensitivity to filming in these locations. Um, I completely understand uh, the privacy of the doctors and their procedures, and more importantly, the patients. I know when we're shooting a close-up shot of a hand petting a dog, not to get the wristband in that shot because we can't show any of that information. If you're wondering what that beeping is, the remote controller is about to die. Yeah, I honestly don't know what we would have done if we hadn't have come down two weeks ago uh, to capture B-roll of that event then. And that was a very last minute trip on a whim. We knew it was gonna kind of cut into the budget a little more than we had hoped. But, you know, uh, we asked the right questions and knew that we had to get on that plane immediately and go capture that event. And I'm glad we did. Uh, that just goes to show that, you know, 
uh, don't be all about the numbers or the margins. You gotta cut in a little bit if you know that's going to serve the video. So it's it's just cool, man. There's so many little cool things that that just make me really glad that we get to work with these uh, these people.